Hey Ash, you ready to uh, do the sun-dried tomatoes, hon? Yeah. Okay, so first thing we do, we grab the tomatoes, we cut the bad parts off them, we put them in uh, some uh, scalding water just to uh, get the skins loose, right Ash? Yep. And we're going to take them over to the cutting board, slice them up, and we got them uh, sliced up. Got them on the dryer here, and uh, we're going to dry these up. I kind of lightly salt the tops of them. Uh, you really don't have to do that, but uh, that's what. After the tomatoes, we're going to do some sun dried tomatoes here, folks. I'm going to dry these bad boys and we're going to get them in some oil and uh, we'll make a dish with them in a few days here. So let's uh, rock and roll and uh, we'll talk to these later. Get the rest of these cut up and we'll see you when they dry out. Okay. Alright, so we got these out of the boiling uh, water, right, Ash? Mm hmm. And it kind of split up the middle, so we just want to take our knife and kind of go like that. It kind of comes off like easy, right, Ash? Look at that, huh? Mm-hmm. Comes off like ice cream, huh, Ash? Yeah. Or popcorn, as they say. Ooh, it's still hot a little bit. All right. Slam that in there. Then you want to cut these about quarter-inch slices. I'm going to cut you. Uh, try this side, Ash. Over okay. here, hon. Can you see this way? Yeah. You think that's thick, but once they dry out, it's going to really shrink up. So about a quarter of an inch. And then this is going to give it a really concentrated flavor. And we're going to stick them right on the board here. Right on the grill, like that. Can you see that, though? Dad's going to load them up. We're going to load them up. And then we have the last grill here, right, Ash? And we spray it with a little bit of Pam, a little bit of oil, just so that when it dries out, it doesn't stick to the grate. Okay, Tom. It's uh, 24 hours later, and uh, tomatoes are, you know, some of them uh, in the middle are really getting crispy and thin. Just about dry. We're gonna, I, I stole a few of these from my little dish that I'm making tonight. So um, I'm gonna continue to let these dry. These are the chip, this is the chip version. These I'll just throw in a bag and probably pop them in the freezer. They'll be uh, good for a year in the freezer like that. And I just, I do the chips for small little uh, recipes like this. Tom, over here, Tom, can you see this? Yeah. Do the little chips like that. I'm making the squash again with the garlic and the uh, sun-dried tomatoes. It's gonna, you know, make it oil flavored. I'm gonna put that over a rigatoni. Kind of was overcooking that while I wasn't paying attention there for a minute, but should be okay. I'm gonna put this over uh, pasta with some uh, linguine. How'd you like that one, Tom, huh? Little uh, linguine or uh, maybe rigatoni or something like that. Whatever I got in the uh, cupboard there. Put a little red hot on that, Tom. You like red hot, Tom? So, anyways, that's basically what we use the uh, tomatoes for. Uh, when I'm doing a dish like this, I don't even bother reconstituting them. I just kind of throw them right in the oil like that. It flavors up the oil nice. Gives it a nice fiali oli, a nice uh, tomatoey uh, flavor. Right, Tom, you know, let the sun shine on them a little bit and uh, they'll be good. I mean, they taste great, you know. They're awesome. Fantastic. So, anyways, when we do the ones preserved in oil, we'll, we'll have to do another video on that. We'll cut them in half, we'll dry them out 80% or so, we'll leave a little moisture in them. We'll sock them in the oil with some uh, flavored garlic oil, and we'll just store them like that, and those are awesome, too. So. While Tommy's in the other room there, I just got to do a quick little shout-out to, uh, I got Heineken here, uh, I got I to do a quick little shout-out to I Like to Cook channel. Uh, you know, he thought, you know, maybe uh, I couldn't pound on a cold beer like Katz does, but I'm sure I'm not going to do it that fast, but I'm going to give it a try here. Let me give it a shot. Let me pop. Let me pop this one down. For this, okay. Let's pop that down. <sighs> Done deal, folks. <clears throat> How many seconds was that? Okay, folks. I'll show you what we do with these uh, sun-dried tomatoes or. Air dried tomatoes, as we call them. Okay, we'll show you what to do with them. Okay, we're gonna make a little uh, tomato oil. 
Get your uh, pesto on there. Add a little oil to that. Add some tomato oil to your pesto. Okay, we'll reserve this for Mama Lee's uh, pork chops. Okay, better get the pan on there. And uh, this is gonna be for my pasta. Okay, so get your groove on. We'll finish mashing this up and uh, we'll get this plated up. We'll show you how we rock and roll with the dried tomatoes, folks. All right, it's filming right there. Okay. Okay, Lee, these are your pork chops. Okay. Well, I might have a taste. Okay, I'm just going to put some of the oil on there, Lee. From the sun. Okay, let's get this plated up. Sun-dried tomatoes, folks. Over rigatoni. I made a similar dish like this not too long ago, but... This is how we like to use the uh, sun-dried tomatoes here. Okay, we've got our squash and our sun-dried garlic oil. Some sun-dried, some squash. Good stuff, man. Look at those tomatoes, huh? That's good. Some of that nice tomato oil on top. Okay, folks, let's uh, add a little of our uh, pesto. The pesto is a little lighter than normal because the leaves are not as green as they were because they're kind of dying off, but it's still good. Okay, we've got our pesto on there. We've got our tomatoes, our infused uh, tomato oil. Okay, we're going to add a little of Romano to that. Jeez, that's making me hungry there. A little bit of Romano. Oh yeah, man, I'm going to dig into that. Some whole pine nuts. Man, you're ready to roll. Dig in. Let me taste that, folks. Let me give it a little taste for you. Grab yourself a dry tomato. Mmm. Wow. Dried tomatoes, folks. Sun-dried. Dried in the oven. Any way you want. Fantastic, man. Unbelievable. Enjoy, folks. Done deal, folks. Rock and roll, baby. I like to cook. Down below in the box. Rock and roll, baby.